What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you some tips to increase the performance of your Android device. I did a video on how to increase the battery life and I have linked it in the description box and annotated it on the video. So you can check that out. So after following these steps, you will be able to remove lag, increase speed and improve the overall experience using the phone. The first tip is to use lightweight application. You can replace the stock launcher like TouchWiz that comes with a lot of junk to slow down the device with something fast and light like Nova and instead of using Chrome or the default Android browser, try using Naked Browser which only weighs at about 100 KB. You can use QuickPick as your default gallery application. After replacing these instead of the default ones, you will notice a difference in your performance. Below in the description box, I have a link where you can find a list of applications you could use instead of the default ones. For file browsing, contact application and a lot more. There are many good applications on the Play Store that improves performance by a lot of different ways. I'm going to share a few applications that will really improve the performance. The link of all of these applications is in the description box below so you can learn more about it and try it out yourself. First one is called Cedar, which reduces the time an application requires to launch. It makes the phone more faster and responsive. It helps the applications to receive data much faster. You should try out Greenify as well, which hibernates application so that it will not run in background unless you want it to. And it also auto hibernates all applications once the screen is turned off. Users including me have been benefited by this application and you should try it out too. Startup Manager app helps you to choose which application you want to be opened once your phone boots up. Limiting the application helps your phone to boot up a lot faster. And Cache Cleaner application cleans cache from mobile's memory freeing up space used by unwanted files. App to SD application can be used to transfer app to SD card, freeing up space in phone's internal memory, which helps to improve performance. The next is enabling and disabling system settings. By enabling and disabling few things, you can speed up your phone as well. Just go to settings, data uses, there inside the menu, you will find option to restrict background data. From accounts, Google, under your Gmail account, you will find option to disable sync for a lot of services that you don't really use. All of these are turned on by default. From settings, about, you can turn on developer option by tapping the build number 7 times. Inside the developer options, you'll find an option to turn off animation so that everything looks fast and it also improves the performance as well. You'll find an option to switch to art runtime there as well. If you are running Android 4.4, it is there in Lollipop by default but only as an experimental feature in Android 4.4 KitKat. You should try it out as it should improve the performance. Using a higher class memory card will also improve the performance as there will be high speed data transfer between the phone and the SD card. Usually a, a class 10 memory card are the ones that you should have in your device. This one's for rooted users only. From Play Store, you can download CPU overclocking application like no frill CPU which will enable you to overclock your CPU and improve the performance. It will utilize more battery but when you need the extra power like when playing games, it's the best thing to have. The next step is to keep your phone clean and simple. Do not add a lot of widgets in the home screen or add a transition effect. Do not use live wallpapers, they utilize a lot of power. And uninstall or disable the applications that you don't use at all, like some bloatware which can be installed with the application. The last one is the most effective one of all, installing a custom ROM. There are a lot of custom ROMs available for almost all Android devices and the installation is easy. 
With custom ROMs, you can use the latest Android version in your phone. Stock Android, no layer on top of it. Which is why it is a lot faster than the one which came shipped with your phone. If you don't know where to start with, visit xtadevelopers.com. So that's all about this video. Do give this video a thumbs up if this video helped you. And if you want to help me, share this video. And comment below if you want tips in other areas as well. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Have a great day.